you must not wear your ring you must not wear trousers yes when you wear trousers you're going to ill people place standards on other people that they can't even live up to themselves who no daughter of mine will ever wear trousers if i get to school i wear trousers but when i'm i'm at home i have to wear skirts yeah if you say that your teenage child is going to look at me and air uh, because of that crop top and i'll say that you haven't done a great job in parenting it means that you're also leaving the responsibility of you as a parent to do the solutions on the internet you see all these most children in churches and be like see all these people they are looking at you that when they grow up they want to be like you so you have to behave and make sure you leave a good legacy but as long as you see me solutions as your standard i don't think you would ever live up to the all of what god has created you to be uniquely his foster children are also human beings they have flesh and blood running through their veins they can make mistakes I people have a problem sometimes that they are that they are scared to admit maybe they won't admit it so they mask it into like judgment or, crit or criticism at some point i stopped going to church because this church seems like an enemy against my soul hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel oh, thank you so much for tuning in i'm to love god if you're seeing this video for the first time so let's jump straight to the video so i'm talking about why are pastors children always rebellious now i watched a video of tolu lockwell solution ranting about how people expect are to behave to dress and to do in the society in the community and i could sense and relate to the pressure she has felt and been dealing with for the past few months or years according to her honestly i could relate because i'm also a pastor's child and i know what it means to be a pastor child like the the church expectation of you as a pastor's child it's it's so high and they expect you to be always well behaved they don't want to see any, anything bad about you they were always living and you said you're a pastor's one we're going to discuss that today so why do people always have this unnecessary expectation why well before talking about that honestly when i saw a video of um Totally local solution talking about that and how pissed off she was at some point she even gave a savage <laughs> i love the video if you have not seen the video please i'll drop it in uh, the comment section if you can go and watch it it's so funny and um so enlightening so i really feel that people should just drop this pressure of um you know their pastor's children this is how you should behave please pastor children are also human beings they have flesh and blood running through their veins they can make mistakes i want people like church to normalize the fact that you actually pastor children can make mistakes they are not perfect you understand and instead of you um condemning them i feel like you can actually love them and then um, correct them in love instead of castigating them and saying oh and they are pastor student look at that is behaving blah, blah, blah. actually the, uh, my own story is kind of related to the local solution story because i grew up with the mentality that you have to be perfect because i'm a daughter of a pastor and um one other thing I had to deal with is the fact that you have people behind you watching you and learning from you. So if you make any mistake, you are like leading a whole lot of people to hell. So you have to be, be careful of what you put out there or what you do. You know, um, the fact that I have to be conscious that people are watching me and I'm a model to some kind of people that I really don't know. I don't know them. I don't have contact with them, but my parents they are pastors so they keep telling me oh you have this also people it's also always looking at you and you see all these small children in churches and be like see all these people they are looking at you that when they grow up they want to be like you so you have to behave and make sure you leave a good legacy which is a good one actually but i feel like cut the slack bro i just want to do me but, but yeah i got to a point that i just wanted to do me and i started questioning why i don't even know these people you tell me you're, you're telling me that i'm a mentor a role model i really don't know them and i'm not their mother i am just a daughter a child that is growing up and um is permitted to make mistakes honestly i just keep 
questioning well my own was quite difficult because <laughs> the conversation was like I, I just opened a small part of me my own you must not wear your ring you must not wear trousers yes when you wear trousers you're going to hell and you're leading a lot of people to hell so when you people are like if you wear trousers eh and those people that are coming behind you they'll be like oh they can also do this since Tolu, Tolu is also doing this i'm like hello i have to fight a lot of battle like i have to like ask a lot of questions make a lot of research like is it a sin to wear trousers is it a sin to to wear earrings you know a whole lot of dressing like i would love to dress i keep questioning a lot of them and at some point i grew to be rebellious when they ask us to do this i'll do the other one because i really do not know why i keep asking why 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 and when they keep taking me back to the scripture and all that the scripture looks confusing because what they are bringing out of the scriptures when i myself study the scripture is entirely different do you understand and i grew up with this deeper life mentality that if you do this you are going to your if you if you use anything to add to your air you are going to hell and they will show me the place in the bible i'm like so this god is such a wicked god we just have to serve him we don't have any choice we don't want to go to hell so my my preaching or my gospel then is if you do this you're going to go to hell you're going to go to hell but thank god how did i actually outgrow that i outgrow that by studying the word of god and prayers also uh, the the help of my brothers, my two brothers, um, my brother, first brother went to OAU, the second brother UI. So at the time my brother was in OAU, my brother joined a particular church that enlightened him on that on the fact that all of this is not a sin, it's just religious. Brother, my brother came home and just educated me. I'm like, oh my god, are you serious? Because I have actually wanted to wear trousers and do earring and wear earring, but because I was told never to do that, so I just had to you know hold on to that you know it got to a particular point that my i was telling my dad that i love wearing trousers let me wear trousers my dad was like no daughter of mine will ever wear trousers if you wear trousers i'm going to lay curse on you you're a child of god you are oh, what because i want that was actually the height of it for me i just had to wear trousers and that's on period so when i get to school actually as it passes the, so when i get to school i wear trousers but when i'm i'm at home i have to wear skirts yes it got to that point i have to wear skirts when i'm at home and when i'm in school i wear trousers but it got to a point that i just couldn't hide it anymore and i'm like okay whatever so i started wearing trousers in church in in at home and my parents were so concerned and at the same time they were like if they stop me from wearing it what, what, they don't know what i'm doing at home and that's one of the things i i actually appreciate about my parents the fact that they allow me to do my thing although it wasn't easy because it was a lot of struggle for them because they feel like this girl is doing the wrong thing but at some point when they kind of notice that no this thing is actually going to lead this girl astray let's just leave her to do her thing and then correct her in a particular way that she'll be able to listen to so at that point they just left me and then they just said that you can't be wearing it to church because in, the, in our church we don't wear churches too church but you can wear it to every other places and that's how it all started i was able to break free from that bondage that the church puts ch pastors children pastors this and that in because i I, re I had to rebel against those things so at that point i really do not care and a lot of people said a lot of things ah but i was just in that space of i just want to be happy i just want to do what makes me happy why is that so bad and if i'm doing something wrong why should i be termed as uh what should i be termed as they even told they said they said i have backslided i'm not following the world you know people stop some people stop talking to me because i said i decided to do something that i'm truly happy with and i believe that god is also happy with me but the church is not so i had to just um you know ignore them actually i did a lot of ignoring i did not really care about what people say about me in fact i had a lot of gossip a lot of things that the church said at some point i felt like running away from the church at some point i stopped going to church because this church seems like an enemy against my soul <laughs> yeah i got to that point i stopped then i i just on one sunday one sunday morning like that i just strolled down the streets and god led me to, to a particular church that was when i was in school 
when I was in UI then, and that church was so transforming. And like I said, that was a church that uh, also, because at that point, I was hungry for the knowledge of God. I wanted to know what is the word of God. I wanted to stop believing what people are telling me about what the scripture is, what the Bible is, and start believing God for myself. I start studying the word of God and to listen that, uh, let me study, let me know God for myself. At that point, I was like, no, I want to know God for myself. I want to stop listening to what people are saying about God. I want to hear God for myself. I want to know God. Now, at that point, I'm so I'm so happy I did because I'm in a better place now. So, thank you so much for watching. What, is, what are your thoughts and what has been your experience with your pastor's child? Let me know in the comment section and do well to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.